Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know that I said I was coming back with a toddler room tour and I will have that room tour up probably next week sometime though because this week I um, I have to wait on the lady that has his little kitchenette. I have to wait on her and she's out of town this week so she'll be getting back to me on Sunday um, if I do still get it. But I wanted to show you guys a new project that I was working on in his room and I contemplated if I wanted to make this a video or not or if I just wanted to show it in his room tour but I wanted to make a separate video because this is so 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 important especially for you stay-at-home moms I told you guys about the problem that my son has where he kind of bangs his head on like the bed and the couch and things like that and I finally realized what it was. One of my best friends I had over, um, she used to work at a preschool and she was telling me that it could and probably is sensory overload, meaning he's like, he's got so much going on in his head and no way to express it because he has no like learning toys. He has nothing to play with. We don't really, our bond kind of fell off like being a stay at home and I kind of sat in a rut I would just be on my phone all day and he'd be watching TV it's the sad truth but I'm admitting it and it kind of broke my heart because I was like this isn't fair to him it's not fair to me that we're just living miserable lives just sitting here waiting for the day to be over I want to start doing more hands-on things with him because he is more than likely a hands-on learner considering the way he's banging his head and things like that and toddlers need to be hands-on with things I just thought that this would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys what I did with his room on a budget. I literally only spent $30 on all of this stuff. I used things I had at home. I went to Dollar Tree and got things and I am so proud of it. I'm so proud of the way that it came out. I Pinterest things and I'm just here to tell you guys that you don't need to be one of those extra moms that go out and buy the expensive toys, the top of the line things, the Montessori type of toys and things like that. All that matters at the end of the day is that you and your baby are having that bond together and that learning experience. I don't know if there's any moms out there that are like me and that are just like, especially with toddlers and one-year-olds and your stay-at-home, you're just stuck. You're like, you feel like you're just stuck. There's nothing to do, nowhere to go. I became dependent on everyone else. And when everyone else was too busy for me, I was like, oh there's nothing to do when I would sit around and be miserable and we can go do things like just me and him and I miss that because when he was little we did that day in and day out I would do cute little fun things with him but as he got older I was kind of like okay he's busy now he's walking around there's really nothing to do so I don't I honestly don't know what like I don't want to take him to the store because he's bad and he's all over and he's a toddler and he's hitting his terrible twos and throwing tantrums and but the thing is I just need to take time out for him the bonding experience I need to stop rambling on I'm gonna go take y'all in his room show you some DIY cheap quick crafts you can do to your baby's room to your toddler's room to make it fun for the both of y'all so let's get started Here's the corner, and I'm so happy with the turnout of it. It has become a little reading corner, a sensory corner, a crafting corner. I love it. I'm going to share with you guys where I got everything, what goes where, and how, where my mind was when I did all this. So, I wanted to get a chalkboard, but chalkboards can get very expensive. I just got this black foam poster board from Dollar Tree, and we are using it as a chalkboard. These um, containers I just got from Dollar Tree. I wanted to get the cube organizer, like the one from Walmart, but that was $25. I spent $25 on all this stuff. The top just has chalk and crayons so he can color. Then down here, I just, they had an eight pack of a little kitchenette set, like of utensils. Um, so I just got him some of those for his kitchen when he gets it. And some building blocks. They have building blocks at Dollar Tree. There's a six pack, six pack of these building blocks for a dollar. I got the five packs that they had, all that I saw. And um, so I spent $5 on 30 blocks, which is more than enough for a two-year-old. Over here, 
I got this cute little idea. I actually had an extra pan, but they had these at the Dollar Tree. And I just actually grabbed some of the kitchen magnets that I had on my um, refrigerator so that I didn't have to spend money on more magnets. Um, so I grabbed some of those and this will really help him learn his <coughs> letters and animals and it's just so cute. Right here, I made a cute little reading corner. I stacked up some of his extra blankets he had in the linen closet and there's actually like one underneath there but this one was actually a cute one. It says you are our greatest adventure. I got that when he was a newborn. I have one of his little spiky balls. This is a good sensory toy. He took something out of this bin this morning but it was a little one of those stress balls. It was a squishy lemon but I heard that that was good for sensory too so that he can like the feeling of it and it's a stress reliever too we will start going to the library but i just wanted to get books to start off with he has about six books i found some at dollar tree they're going to do the job and i like these books because they're teaching him instead of me just reading to him we can start learning our cars and things like that this is actually a dog toy that we never used they are amazing sensory toys we have some play-doh that i need to put in a baggie because it's like ripped open we did that last night but um he actually he actually uh eats the play-doh so i'm going to start just doing edible play-doh like i saw a pinterest about like marshmallow play-doh in this bin up here i just grabbed some shovels they had a pack of shovels from the dollar tree I grabbed some rocks um, from Dollar Tree as well. And he just had some extra like little cars and things. He had other cars in here. I don't know what he did with them. And this cute little rolly thing is from Dollar Tree as well. I saw a Pinterest about it. Um, it's a construction site. And here is the cute little bubble bath sensory game. You put some bath toys in here with some cotton balls and it kind of... Um, it acts as a cute little bubble bath. I got a pack of like three animals at Dollar Tree because they didn't have any rubber duckies. So I guess it really doesn't really matter. But I know the aesthetic is um, rubber ducks. This is his little corner and I love it. It's so cozy. So fun. Hi. Do you want to come play in your corner? Okay, no really hope that you guys enjoyed this little DIY project. I was so proud of myself afterwards. I was so proud of him afterwards for playing with it. And we read last night and we literally played with everything. Y'all don't feel the need to go out and spend a whole bunch of money because babies don't care at the end of the day. Why hurt your bank account if the kid doesn't even know what money is, honestly? And they're just going to lose it and make messes or destroy the things anyway. So what's the point of spending a whole bunch of money? If y'all a little lost and want to see more little crafts and activities, I can most definitely do that. I want to do the edible Play-Doh project. I want to do, um, there's edible slime to do with him. That You just have to get out and look. You have to figure out what's good for you and your child. What's going to be fun for you and your kid. Until next time, y'all. As always, I love y'all. Stay blessed.